Hey, good morning everyone. My name is Claire. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for checking it out. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate your support. Today I'm going to share with you my cycle day 13 ovulation testing. Yesterday my test was almost positive, so I'm thinking I'll get my positive today. Let's get right into testing because I'm pretty excited. All right, so here's the ovulation test. You're going to dip it for five to ten seconds. Here's that test starting to run across. So we are just gonna wait three minutes and then we will be back with the results. Okay guys, here's my test result. It's definitely a positive today. As you can see, the test line is the same darkness as the control line. So I will be testing another time today. It'll either be like late afternoon or in the evening time because when I get my true positive OPK, it'll be positive in the day and then at nighttime, it becomes even darker. So my test line will actually be taken away from the control line. And that's how I know I'm genuinely at my peak. Aside from that, I have very telltale symptoms that I discussed yesterday. One of those is egg white CM. The second one is an increased sex drive. And the third one is acne. As you can see, I have a lot of acne going on right here. At the other times of the month, I have a pretty low amount of acne. But when I get close to ovulating, my face gets more oily for some reason. It may be the hormones. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to add my OPK to my journal now so I can show you a side by side and show you the slight difference from yesterday compared to today. Here is my journal, so if you kind of just like skim through the top to the bottom at the beginning of my cycle, the test was actually pretty bold. It got lighter on day 7 and 8, and then I feel like day 9 is still pretty light too, but it was starting to come back in. And then day 10 is this one, 11, started to get darker. These are on the same day. Day 12 the line looked almost positive it was just a little bit more faint than the control line so i did know that it was a negative i, I actually tested twice yesterday because of how close to a positive it was but the second test again was lighter than the control line so i knew that i was not having my peak at that day and then today as you guys can see the test line and the control line are the same darkness and like I said, I'm gonna test again later today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you're just new into ovulation testing, it can be a little bit confusing because some people, they'll see what they think is a positive. Example, my test yesterday was pretty close to positive. And if you're newer at doing ovulation testing, you may think, okay, that's my positive, and then stop testing and not realize that that actually was not your peak. So I hope this is informative. I hope it's helpful. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be tonight. Bye, guys.